So how are we going to solve it? It is the same way that we solve your ideal the heat rank kind where you solve it state by state. And in order for you to read your property table, you will need to know two known values. So you can start at any state that you want or it is easier if you start with the state that you already know two known values. So in this case, you can have a look uh, we can choose to start at state 1 so at state 1 it is given to you P1 20 kilopascal and that your temperature sorry it is not temperature you know that the condition of your H1 is actually your H fleet so since given to you pressure Therefore, you will need to read from your table A5. So, from your table A5, you will have your H1 is equal to two hundred fifty-one point four two kilojoule per kg. And since in to solve your state two over here. You are going to make use your equation of pump, so you will need your specific volume at one, which is V one, is equal to zero point zero zero one zero one seven kilojoule per kg. All right, now we move on to our state two. So, at state 2, you are given P2, which is 20 megapascal. And that you know that you can make use of work of your palm, which is work 1, 2 is equal to specific volume at 1. P2 minus your P1 which is also equal to now in solving this your state 2 is actually your 2S which is this one the isentropic part so your H2S minus with your H1 your, for your state 1 this is the beginning or the inlet to your pump so you are not going to have the actual value the actual value is only at the outlet so at the outlet of your pump at the outlet of your turbine so when you rearrange this equation you will get your h2s is equal to v1 p2 minus your p1 plus with your H1 and again you need to be careful with your value because your P2 is 20 megapascal so if you are going to have the equivalent unit of kilojoule per kg so your 20 megapascal will become 20,000 minus 20 plus your 251 0.42 and finally you will get your h2s is equal to 271.7397 kilojoule per kg all right in this state two you are given the isentropy efficiency of your pump which is 85 percent therefore you will need to find your actual value of 2 where the definitions of your isentropy efficiency of your pump is work of isentropy divided by work actual which is equal to H2S minus your H1 over H2A 
minus your h1 which is equal to 0 0.85 now when you plug in all the value which is your h2s into here and the h1 value that you obtained previously and you rearrange this mathematical form then you will obtain your h2a value which is equal to 275.3255 kilojoule per kilogram so next when you are solving for this part whenever you have the term of h2 so you will make use the actual value no more this isentropic value 